what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here this is your first time seeing my face my name is Elena I am a health and wellness and fitness advocate self-love advocate so here on this channel I share everything that I know and that I'm learning about nutritional healing holistic wellness health and wellness mental health and the list literally goes on so if you are on a journey to elevating your mind your body your spirit then you will love this channel make sure you go through the videos subscribe if you see anything that resonates with you and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos from me today's video is not a tea time video so i'm not sipping on any tea right now but i am going to share some recipes with you for the three things that i love to add to my smoothies to beef up the nutritional value of them and not alter the taste too much so these are three staples that i keep on hand and i love to add to my smoothies another thing that i'm going to talk about in this video is the process of me making my very first batch of elderberry syrup if you're not familiar with elderberry it's an herb that is known for its antiviral antioxidant properties so if you are going through a season change entering into the cold and flu season or you just want to build up your immune system to be able to fight off anything that might try to come in and attack elderberry is going to be such an amazing natural source of antioxidants and healing powers coincidentally i've decided to study elderberry for the entire month of june and my toddler got sick like two days ago so this was a perfect opportunity to go ahead and instead of buying cough syrup or elderberry syrup from the store I decided to whip up some for her and so we've all been taking it for the past three days so if you want to see how I made the elderberry syrup make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to see how to make your smoothies more nutritious add more fiber more healthy fats and calories to them healthy calories then keep watching this video i'm going to go ahead and share that with you right now let's go our smoothie is a berry cherry green smoothie i added a cherry berry mix one banana two sticks of celery and two handfuls of spinach here are the three superfoods chia seeds i add about two tablespoons hemp seeds i add about three tablespoons and irish sea moss gel this is lemon ginger that i made myself to sweeten the smoothie i added some honey and two pitted dates and then just water so there's no need for juice or anything because the honey and dates make it exceptionally sweet along with the banana i dropped in about a tablespoon of elderberry syrup before i poured the smoothie in just to add a little extra you know uh and then i mixed it up and enjoyed this one is really good i hope you give it a try this next smoothie has more of a tropical twist to it. So this is just a frozen blend of strawberry, pineapple, mango, and papaya. I added a banana and instead of straight spinach, I added spring mix to this smoothie. Still using dates to sweeten instead of adding extra sugar. And here are my three superfoods again, chia seeds, hemp seeds, I actually added some spirulina green powder and I added the Irish sea moss gel, like I said, that I made at home. If you want a video or some information on how to make your own Irish sea moss or what Irish sea moss even is, let me know and I'll be glad to make a video for that as well. I added some ice, a little bit of water, and once again, we blend. It has this deep, rich green color and it looks nothing like it tastes it tastes so much better so that is the second smoothie and moving on we're going to get into making this elderberry syrup So there are different ways to make elderberry syrup. In this case, I used a cup of dried elderberries, 
about two tablespoons of dried ginger and I mixed it up. I added double the amount of water, so one cup of elderberries and two cups of water. And I simply brought it to a boil, mixed it really well, and then reduced to simmer to allow the water to reduce to about half as much as what I added. Personally, I added some more lemon slices and I added cinnamon to add more flavor as well as antiviral properties to the syrup and make it pack that much more of a nutritional punch. But these two ingredients are optional. Let this simmer down to where I had about half a cup of juice remaining and then I used my strainer to strain out as much of the juice as I could get out of these yummy berries as well as the cinnamon, ginger, and lemon. From here, I simply transfer the syrup into a mason jar and this is where I allowed it to cool before I add the honey. So honey will denature at a certain temperature which is why you want the syrup to be cool enough to maintain the medicinal properties of the honey but also warm enough so that the honey will actually dissolve in the mixture i transferred this to a recycled bottle that actually had an elderberry drink in it before and we take one to two teaspoons a day one teaspoon for the toddler two teaspoons for the adults and it stores in the fridge for three months time I hope you enjoy this video and that you decide to subscribe and stay tuned for more. We're going to be discussing in deep detail the medicinal properties of the elderberry herb. So I'll see you in the next one.